Hello, yep. Okay. Um Hi, yeah, I'm playing Mass Effect. Yeah. But uh I don't know. I don't really have much to say. Huh. First thing to say was I have played and beaten this game before, but uh, that was on <coughs> that was on console. Now I'm on PC, so I'm gonna see how different the experience is, I guess. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Whew. Secure connection confirmed. And though it should be obvious, I am playing the original and not legendary edition. And that's just because of a thing of mine. I'm just going to play this because it's here. And maybe, I don't know, whatever. I'm, this is the original, not legendary edition, so. And I'll just go with Shepard so people will actually control. say my name. Profile reconstruction complete. Well, you know what? Nah, I ain't gonna be boring, actually. Please you know log what? In fine. To access your profile. fine, fine, fine. Please log in to access your profile. Hmm. Warning, data corruption detected. <laughs> Please Imagine the game just crashed. <laughs> Confirm pre-service history. So I think I was always this in my other ones. Confirm psychological profile. Okay. Sure, we'll go war Confirm here. Military specialization. Okay. Biotics. Was all this stuff in the console version? I don't remember any of this. Probably. What's the point? This just seems better than engineer. I'll go engineer. Confirm facial identification. Oh boy. Oh that one. That.
this is making for some riveting watching right now, but <laughs> don't worry, I'll start talking once I'm playing the game. Profile reconstruction complete. All right. Yeah, I'm all good. Identification confirmed. <sighs> Since we've played this before, and because I'm curious, we're doing veteran. Auto level up. Nope. Aim assist as little as I can. I want to do all that stuff for myself. Subtitles and auto save. Yes, sir. And here we go. Well, what about Shepard? He grew up in the colonies. He knows how tough life can be out there. His parents were killed when slavers attacked Mindwar. He proved himself during the Blitz. Held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. He's the only reason the Lysium is still standing. We can't question his courage. Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. I don't remember this intro from when I played before, but... Didn't get very far in it, so I don't know relays in where range. the whole trilogy goes. So. transmission sequence. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500 I'm curious about what the controls are going to be like here. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Yeah. There he goes, Joker. I just gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. You're paranoid. Okay, it's space the council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Mm, true enough. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. That they do not. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting on. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. 
find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet yeah. me in the comm room. Joker has no regrets. You get that, Commander? He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. Or it was Joker. Captain always yeah. sounds like that. he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. Mm. Truly is a mystery. So, hmm. Okay, tutorials. Background, well, you know what? How do I... Is it enter? How do I actually... Oh, just don't 1200 click. years ago, the Turians were invited to join the Citadel Council to fulfill the role of galactic peacekeepers. The Turians have the largest fleet in Citadel space, and they make up the single largest portion of the Council's military right. forces. How about this? There's going to be a bunch of these in this game, and I'm not going to sit there and listen to them. So I'm going to read them. If you guys want to read them, you can pause. Because, yeah, I'm and not the letting this go for diplomacy. Despite a somewhat colonial attitude towards the rest of the galaxy, the ruling hierarchy understands they would lose more than they would gain if the other two races were ever removed. Turians come from an autocratic society. The, the Systems Alliance is an independent supranational government representing the interests of humanity as a whole. The Alliance is responsible for the governance and defense of all extrasolar colonies and stations. The Alliance grew out of the various national space programs as a matter of practicality. Saul's planets had been explored and exploited through piecemeal national efforts. The expense of colonizing entire new solar systems could not be met by any one country. With humans knowing that alien Secondary contact was inevitable, okay, there was yeah, enough political that, will to jointly... Thank you. Okay. Raised on Rinduar in the fringes of the Attican Traverse. When you were 16, the colony was raised by, raided by slavers. The entire settlement was raised and your friends and family were slaughtered. The passing Alliance Patrol rescued you, but all you loved was destroyed. You enlisted with the Alliance military and were posted at Elysium. You were there during the Scillian Blitz, an attack on the colony by a massive coalition force of slavers, crime syndicates, and Batarian warlords. You rallied the civilian inhabitants, leading them in their desperate fight to hold off the invaders. When enemy troops broke through the colony's defenses, you single-handedly held them off and sealed the breach. After hours of brutal fighting, reinforcements finally arrived, and the enemy broke ranks and fled. Because of your actions, Elysium was saved, and you were regarded throughout the Alliance as a true hero. Yeah, all this stuff, this is timeline stuff, so so I'll scroll through it. And if this is if any of you guys are interested in this, then you can. Like, I'm sorry, I'll pay attention to a decent amount of lore, but I'm not. I'm not gonna read through stuff like that. It's just not happening. So here, okay. There we go. That's gonna upset some people. That's how I roll. And I go all charm. <laughs> it's just how I am. Yep. Fence, some filters and stuff. Yeah, I'm just seeing how everything's different from on console. Don't mind me. Yep. Okay, that makes more sense just naturally then. Okay. Try and make this video not forever long. A seizure game. There we go. All right, all is well. Wow, this game's way smoother with it. Sorry, hold up. Just need to, just need to see. Okay, seven minutes. Make sure this isn't taking forever. Shift is sprint. Okay. Wait. Can't I? Okay. E. Can you click? Oh. And yes, you can. It's so funny to me how just no one ever is concerned with the fact that you just pull a gun. How can I... Bro. Controls. Space. How do I...
Okay, Q. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. One thing that I do have to say, the voice does not fit the way my character looks, but that's fine because I'm not expecting them to record a billion different voiceovers for all the lines in this game. Just cause, yeah, no. Alright. Um, you think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? I actually we're supposed like the way facial expressions really look for my character. System. Why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war, lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. Oh, okay. Small thing, I don't think in console, I don't think it highlighted them to ones. That was 30 years ago. You no, win. I guess not. We're an Alliance vessel, human military. Sorry if I skipped too much. I'm trying not to, but... Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like him. Do you have a problem with the captain? No, sir. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. <laughs> you don't send a soldier like Thanks that for the on image. a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. And yeah, he was talking about Something getting linked in and everything, and it's like, yeah. What do you know about the stealth? Systems? I have played this game, by the way. I'm I just thinking. know. I know why all this is happening. Scans and sensors, cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheap, less chance of security leaks too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. Don't worry, I got you. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. It's Codex time. Light lag prevents sensing in real time at great distances. The ship fires its thrusters at the Kiron relay, can easily be detecting the Earth. 5.75 light hours away, but Earth will only see the event 5 hours and 45 minutes after it occurs. Due to light speed limit, defenders can't see enemies coming until they have already arrived. Because there is FTL travel and communications but no FTL sensors, frigates are crucial for scouting and picket duties. Okay, send them in quickly and then they won't see them until they're not physically there anymore. Okay. Passive sensors are used for long range detection while active sensors obtain short range high quality targeting data. Passive sensors include visual, thermographic, and radio detectors that watch and listen for objects in space. A powered ship emits, emits a great deal of energy, the heat of the life support systems, the radiation given off by power plants and electrical equipment, the exhaust of the thrusters. Starships stand out plainly against the near-absolute zero background of space. Passive sensors can be used during FTL travel, but incoming data is significantly distorted by the effects of the Mass Effect envelope and Doppler shift. Active sensors are radars and high-resolution lasers, laser detection and ranging that emit a ping of energy and listen for return signals. Radars have a narrower field of view than a radar, but radar resolution allows image of detected objects to be assembled. Active sensors are useless when a ship is moving at FTL speeds. I don't remember most of that, and I just read it, but, you know, cool. Roughly 1,200 years ago, oh, humanity's that. first contact with an alien race occurred in 2157. At that time, the Alliance allowed survey fleets to activate any dormant mass relays discovered, a practice considered dangerous and irresponsible by Council-aligned races. When a Turian patrol discovered a human fleet attempting to activate a relay, they attacked. 
one human vessel survived, retreating to the colony of Shanxi. The Torians yeah, followed to quickly say, defeat. From what I'm aware of, uh, yeah, they would have absolutely annihilated us. So, thank you for the diplomatic ending. Stop. This is Queen. They can do whatever they want. This is Queen Mira from Years of War, by the way. You watch too many spies. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before. Not one with the Spectre on board. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even paradise gets boring after a while. God, just the higher frame rate of this is very different because I didn't play Legendary Edition on console, I played the original as well. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that <sighs> part. Say, nice Spectres operate above the law. Good old vague, um... Good old vague description of what they're supposed to do. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. You're a war hero, right? Held off an entire enemy fleet during the Blitz single-handed? That's the kind of talent the Spectres are looking for. This is all just wild speculation. The Spectres aren't interested in recruiting humans, no matter how capable. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols yeah, protecting the Citadel space than any ones. other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others <laughs> still blame them for the first contact. I mean, yeah, they As did. for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I heard Nihilus once took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Man, I can't believe I'm on a mission with an actual Spectre. Well, just wait, man. I'm the main character. I'll take down more than that. I'll take them. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself in the Blitz. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not going to screw this up. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Spectres are agents from the Office of Special Tactics and Reconnaissance and answer only to the Citadel Council. They are elite military operatives, granted the authority to deal with threats to peace and stability in whatever way they deem necessary. They operate independently or in groups of two or three. Some are yeah, people didn't even know about them for a good long while. <laughs> Sorry, I get paranoid when playing this game for saving. This is like one of those type of games where you'll lose like an hour if you don't save. Commander when you Shepard, die, you have to I was load. hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to, Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Jenkins seem to be singing its praises. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. 
serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it really? Yeah, what's your point? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we There's told Chief the commander David, what's real. Arbiter, President Rick and Morty. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I, I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. What's the payload, Captain? Yeah, it's a research team that matters. Prime. Unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I already know what Prothean is. If you read the timeline, the Protheans are some ancient race that we know like nothing about who they're where we got the mass relays from. We didn't make those, we found those, as did all the other species um, that we interact with. They just found them and their technology and the Mass Effect stuff, and that's how all our futuristic technology was made. We're piggybacking off of them, basically. So I'm not going to ask what Protheans are. What else can you tell me? This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper yeah, we study. just don't want to get intercepted by like Obviously, this or goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Why did we tell the Cal no what? It never hurts to have a few extra hands on board. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. <laughs> the Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. Exposition? We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. I'm curious about that. Why would a Turian want a human in the oh, Spectres? Well, I didn't think it Not all Turians it. resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy. And I should the say that's. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the Yeah, exactly. We see. see, like, I, I could have figured that. that. That's the issue with games like this, is a lot of the times you the job. when you when you play games like this with dialogue choices, they have to abbreviate what you're going to say for the choice you can accept. And then you think, you're like, oh, okay, this choice will lead to me saying this in this kind of way. And then they say it in a completely different way that maybe offends the person, maybe doesn't offend the person and you wanted to, you know. It's, it's, a, it's a hard line to, line to walk. Because I understand why they don't want to have these freaking text things going like off the screen. Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. I'm gonna skip through these dialogues because everything here has been explained, so... What do you know about the protests? That's what they taught us in school. They yep, were technology. 50, Nobody really finished. knows how. Nobody knows. Theories. Theories. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic the society. Citadel was built by them. Without their mass the relays, is. interstellar travel would be yep. impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime. It's a peaceful, farm. peaceful farming. But it represents and you said represents it something. something. We were it we were ready. Symbolizes our growth and evolution as a species. Why is this beacon so advanced? Galactic civilization. We hadn't discovered that was just a small. What if it's a weapons archive? Yes. We can't let it fall into the like wrong. Who? Like the who? Attic and Traverse isn't the most stable. Attic and Traverse, they might Raiders figure a Prothean criminals. beacon is worth the risk of yes. attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right Eden on the Prime border of the, the Terminus system. system. The Attic and Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus Technically, system... Technically, yes. But some the of the last speed. thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus system. The Terminus system, system seem to be a separate to thing ruled game. by someone else, and they might be willing to start a war of it. Okay. Just give the word, Captain. 
We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. That was a very abrupt What's wrong, Joker? <laughs> Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Wait, is that the same stock sound effect as like that Halo 3 assault rifle? I'm just now realizing that. Like it's edited differently, of course, but. We are under attack, taking heavy casualties. Wow, this looks much better with heavy casualties. We can't. We need evac. They came out of nowhere. We need. out after that no calm traffic at all it just goes dead there's nothing reverse and hold the 38.5 <laughs> i love it when people do this in series and they just know exactly what time status report 17 minutes out captain no other alliance ships in the area take us in joker fast and quiet mission just got a lot more complicated a small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. All right. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. <laughs> oh, thank you, Edwards. Nihilus will scout on ahead. <laughs> He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. I ain't got anything to say. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! No. We are approaching drop point two. Alright. Jenkins. So what do I want from Jenkins? Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, throwing guys faster. Two, let's just... Filter tabs, journal, whatever. Got it. Roughly 50,000 years ago, the Protheans were the only spacefaring species in the galaxy. They vanished in a swift galactic extinction. Only the legacy of their empire remains. They are believed to have built the mass relays and the citadel, which have allowed numerous species to explore and expand throughout the galaxy. Prothean hmm. ruins are found on worlds across the galaxy. While surprisingly intact for their age, functioning examples of Prothean paleo technology are rare. Time and generations of looters have picked their dead cities and... The Terminus systems are located on the far side of the Attican Traverse, beyond the space administered by the Citadel Council or claimed by the Human Systems Alliance. It is populated by a loose affiliation yeah. of minor species, United only in their refusal to acknowledge the political authority of the council. Yeah, basically they're not worth them. they're not worth the trouble. Um. Okay. Move, attack, hold. Oh Jesus! Look at all of this. Okay. Well, I'm gonna use pistols. This is regroup. I'm assuming. Um. I 
handguns is already a sore rifling. I don't know, you can sniper, I guess. One thing that I don't know, because I know I can bind stuff, whatever. You know what, I'm just going to annoy everyone and not bind anything. Oh, but before that, I'm going to save, and because this is a good freaking just spot, I'm going to stop recording here. So uh, let's see what happens when I alt-tab. If that's it, uh, bye. Oh no, it just did it. Well, uh, yeah.